like you, I'm agnostic. I mean, Australia's got a lot of sun, uh, a fair bit of wind. We've got coal, we've got gas, and we've got uranium, and we've got water, but we don't have too many mountains. So, you know, hydro's not a, a, a big deal in this country. But can you understand why we have such a reluctance to, to go down this track? I mean, I, I just get a depressing feeling that it's never going to happen here. I mean, you've had nuclear power in the UK for a long time. So what's the new push? What, what's going to happen uh, with these, these new nuclear push? So it was a fortnight ago that the British government announced that it's going to be building a new nuclear power station down in the south of England called Sizewell Sea. And it will take about 10 years to build. And there was a few raised eyebrows at the kind of timescale that it would take to build that. But it's a 3.2 gigawatt nuclear power station. It will provide about 10% of the UK's electricity. That's 10% from a single power station. And so there's a growing recognition here in the UK amongst governments and the private sector and the public as well that nuclear power has to play a part in the future of our energy mix. And it's very interesting because we often hear about these kind of these, these rife anti-nuclear sentiments here in the UK. But actually, the polls, the data show that about 50% of the British public either strongly support or tend to support nuclear power. Fewer than 10% of people strongly oppose it. And so... The data show it, and it's been my my own experience going out there talking to people that not as many people are as anti-nuclear as you would think. It tends to be a very well organised and vocal minority of people. That's a big plant the UK is going to build. I mean, is there technology of smaller plants that could be built more quickly? Yes, so these small modular reactors are getting people very excited. These are unlike the giant gigawatt scale traditional power stations are, as their name suggests, small. They're miniature. They can fit where no traditional power station could. And the modular part of the these, these new reactors is key because the idea is that you could build upwards of 80, 85 percent of the reactor on a factory line. And of course, we know from the history of industrialization that when you build things on a factory line and mass produce them, not only does time scale shrink, but so does the amount of money that you have to spend. And so the idea is that these small modular reactors can be rolled out at scale and at pace. And I envisage a future where not just in the UK, but, but around the world, every single small city, large city, large towns has at least one small modular reactor providing the electricity and the heat that those societies need to flourish. Well, Tim, let's hope your book causes uh, another a new debate in this country. Thanks for joining us tonight. By the way, Dr Tim My Gregory's pleasure. Thank book you. is called Going Nuclear, How the Atom Will Save the World. You should get your hands on it. Tim, thank you very much for that.